Hello friends, today we discussed about the nomenclature. Nomenclature is defined as the system of naming of plants, animals and other objects or group of plants, animals and other objects. Scientific names are the language of taxonomist. When a taxonomist identifies and describes the natural group of animals, he gives appropriate scientific names to the groups. Common names do not serve the purpose because a particular animal is known by different names in different parts of the world. Uh, for example, the bird that we know as Gauraya in India and Pakistan is known by different names in other countries. House Sparrow in England, Padal in Spain, Mush in Holland, Suzune in Japan and so on. Moreover, the common name may be used for different kinds of animals, for example, the name Kinchua is used both for the earthworm and Ascaris. On the other hand, a specific name is universally used for a particular species or particular group of animals. For example, Gauraria or house sparrow is termed passive domesticus by geologists throughout the world. So, to ensure that one scientific name stands for one particular kind of animal everywhere and the only name for that organism, the taxonomist that's why must follow this nomenclature here we discussed about the binomial nomenclature it is the formal system of naming species of a living by giving each a name composed of two parts that is genus and species name according to this binomial nomenclature long names were cut short so that they could be used with greater convenience the system postulated that Every individual of plant and animal kingdom consists of only two words in Latin. The first word designating the genus and the second the additional epithet that signifies the particular species with the genus. It is also known as two naming system or binary system. Here put an example that is homo sapiens means humans. Here homo is the genus name and the sapiens is species name. It is usually created to Carlos Linnaeus who used it in his book Species Plantarum. Here I put some pictures that is Equus cobalus and the Equus acinus. Here we can see that Equus cobalus and Equus acinus are categories in the same genus that is Equus but in the different species because there are very much difference between these two species you can see that. Here is equals acinus and that is equals cobalus. So that was that's why it is placed in same genus but in different uh, species. It is equals cobalus and it is equals acinus. Now writing binomial names. That's uh, how we write the binomial names. At first, binomial names of species are usually typed in italic such as this type in italic letters then when handwritten each part of a binomial name should be underlined such as homo sapiens you can see that underlined under the name third is the genus name is always written with an initial capital letter and the species name is written with small letter here you can see that i put the name the initial letter of genus name is capital and the species name is in more small letter and here I put an example that is homo sapiens it is incorrect because there is no gap between the genus and species name and the genus name not studied with the capital letter that's why it is wrong it is also wrong because there is a gap but the genus name is not studied with the capital letter and there is no underline this is also incorrect because there is no underline this is correct because there is a gap between the genus and species name. The genus name is studied with the capital letter and the species name is in small letter and the underline was zero. That's why it is correct. So I think you understand this. Thank you. See you in my next video.